Kristen, and unfortunately, we didn't record the welcome for our wedding, but I read it then, and I'm going to read it again now so you can hear what we said. Amalg and I are so excited for today and that you are able to be a part of our long-awaited wedding day. Before we get started, we want to say a few words about what's going on in our country and our world right now. First and foremost, we want to acknowledge that many people are hurting right now, and that includes some of us here today. We're in the midst of not only a global pandemic that has caused loss of life and financial hardships across the world, but in America, we're experiencing an uprising of voices and protest in response to systemic racial inequality and police brutality. This on top of the normal personal struggles we often face can leave us feeling heavy, hopeless, and burnt out. At times in my life, I have felt conflicted and guilty about how to celebrate or feel joy when so many of my loved ones are suffering so much. I've come to believe that something unique to us as humans is our ability to hold multiple complex emotions all at once. We can mourn and we can celebrate at the same time. My favorite poet, Alice Walker, has a book of poems entitled, Hard Times Require Furious Dancing. The title alone has become a sort of mantra in my life. So I want to read part of the preface of her book, which is called Learning to Dance. She writes, I am the youngest of eight siblings. Five of us have died. I share losses, health concerns, and other challenges common to the human condition. Sometimes it all feels a bit too much to bear. Yet, I have matured into someone I never dreamed I would become, an unbridled optimist. I have learned to dance. It isn't that I didn't know how to dance before. I just didn't know how basic it is for maintaining balance. That Africans are always dancing in their ceremonies and rituals shows an awareness of this. It struck me one day while dancing that the marvelous moves African Americans are famous for on the dance floor came about because the dancers, especially in the old days, were contorting away various knots of stress. Some of the lower back movements handed down to us that have seemed merely sensual were no doubt created after a day's work bending over a plow or hoe on a slave driver's plantation. We can still hold the line of beauty, form, and beat. No small accomplishment in a world as challenging as this one. Hard times require furious dancing. Each of us is the proof. With that, I think we need moments to celebrate life now in the midst of global turmoil, maybe more than ever. We're not asking you to forget about the state of our world for the next couple of hours as we get married, but instead we invite you to consider the need for love and commitment as we fight for and create a new reality. May we use this time together to dance, to reflect on our lives, our relationships, and how we can contribute to the world we want to live in. Next, we're gonna play a video that my sisters Haley and Jamie created as a surprise for Amog and I.
Welcome to you all. We are here not to acknowledge the beginning of what will be, but to celebrate what already exists. Amog and Kristen, your wedding day is a celebration of your love and your friendship. As though I am officiating here today, it is not truly in my power to sanctify or bless your relationship in any way, because the two of you have already done this with your actions and your love. True marriage is more than signing on license and saying, I do. It is a connection that only two people in love can have for the rest of their lives. So we're here to bear witness to the union of these beloved friends who are already one in spirit. At this time, we would like to take a moment to acknowledge the grandparents of the couple. Kristen's paternal grandparents, Charles and Millicent Brown, and her maternal grandparents, Lloyd and Barbara Coe. Also, Amog's maternal grandparents, Manmal Gee and Anandi Bai Navaya, and his maternal grandparents, Sunderlal Gee and Mohan Bai Trevecha. While they're not here with us physically, they will forever live in our hearts and our memories. On this day, you are giving yourself, your life, and your love to the one who loves you the most. So as important as this ceremony is, the foundation of your marriage was formed long before we even met here today, and that foundation is the love that you share. Marriage deepens and enriches every aspect of life. But marriage is even deeper than commitment. It is a covenant, a covenant that says, I love you, I trust you, I will be here for you when you are hurting, and when I am hurting, I will not leave. Marriage is living in love with your best friend. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Amog and Kristen have created a relationship vision and they would like to share this vision with us at this time. We encourage each other to discover ourselves as individuals. We have a good circle of friends. We save our most intimate parts for one another. We live in a house with a fenced yard for Betsy. <laughs> we follow our financial plans well so we can save, invest, and give. We learn new things together. We cook together. We encourage uh, one another to prioritize health in sustainable ways. We feel love and affection towards each other. We go on walks together. We enjoy being a couple with our mutual friends. We communicate with each other in healthy ways. We discover new places around us. We resolve our conflicts through dialogue. We feel well respected by each other. I am Moog. Take you, Kristen. Take you, Kristen. To be my partner in life. To be my partner in life. I promise to walk by your side forever. I promise to walk by your side forever. And to love, help, and encourage you. And to love, help, and encourage you. In all that you do. In all that you do. I will take time to talk with you. I will take time to talk with you. To listen to you. To listen to you. And to care for you. And to care for you. I will share your laughter and your tears. I will share your laughter and your tears as your partner, confidant, and best friend. As your partner, confidant, and best friend. Everything I am. And everything I am. And everything I have. And everything I have. Is yours. Is yours. Now and forever. Now and forever. Take you a moment. To be my partner in life. To be my partner in life. I promise to walk by your side forever. I promise to walk by your side forever. And to love, help, and encourage you. And to love, help, and encourage you. In all that you do. In all that you do. I will take time to talk with you. I will take time to talk with you. To listen to you. To listen to you. And to care for you. And to care for you. I will share your laughter and your tears. I will share your laughter and your tears. As your partner, confidant, and best friend. As your partner, confidant, and best friend. Everything I am. Everything I am. And everything I have. And everything I have. Is yours. Is yours. Now and forever. Now and forever. Right. Okay. Amog, please hold the ring at the top of her finger. Amog, do you choose Kristen to be your wife, your best friend, and your only love? To live together, play together, and laugh together. To work by her side and dream in her arms. To fill her heart and feed her soul. To always seek out the best in her. Always loving her with all of your heart. 
now and forevermore? I do. Please place a ring on her finger. Okay. Kristen, please hold the ring on top of his finger. And Kristen, do you choose a mode to be your husband, your best friend, and your only love? To live together, play together, and laugh together. To work by his side and dream in his arms. To fill his heart and feed his soul. To always seek out the best in him, always loving him with all of your heart, now and forevermore. I do. Please place a ring on his finger. Today you have openly declared your love for each other. You have expressed your love to one another through the commitment and promises that you've just made. Now, I'm willing to bet that you probably kissed one another about 10,000 times, <laughs> perhaps more. But today's kiss will be different. You are no longer simply partners and best friends. Today, your kiss is a promise, so make it a good one. It gives me great joy to pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Navai, you may now fill your vows with a kiss. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Congratulations, guys. <laughs>
our relationships, our friendships, and of course, family. Now, I'm told by someone we all know and love that the Indian word for family is Puribar. And I especially want to welcome Amog's parents, VP and Pramila Navalya, his sister, Amishi, and his brother in law, Manish, along with their daughter, Chia, to our Purivar. Susie and I also consider all of you a part of our Purivar because you in your own special way are part of Kristen and Amog's life and therefore ours. One of the blessings that has come from Kristen's illness this past year is that I got to spend three weeks with them in March. As I went to serve them, encourage them, and help them through an incredibly rough time, I also got to see them function as a couple and work through overwhelming difficulties as COVID-19 hit full force. We had some difficult conversations. We cried a few tears, shared a few fears, and even laughed a little bit. What I saw as mother of the bride made me happy. What I saw was a love between two souls. I saw a young man care for his sick bride as if she were the only part of his life that mattered. He protected her with all his might. He kept her apartment clean and safe. At the same time, he showed me love and respect. He cooked for me and he cooked tasty, healthy, bland, food, which I know was really hard for him. And I cooked for him and he ate my food and seemed to like it, which that had to be hard for him too. <laughs> um, where, where am I? I saw two souls who grew up in opposite ends of the world forming a beautiful union, which a testimony to the two of them. I love how they work through life's difficulties and still find a way. I think that must be their mantra, will find a way. True love does just that, it finds a way. We love you, Kristen and Amog. So once again, I invite you to raise your glasses. Kristen and Amog, we congratulate you. We are proud of you, and we love you. To Kristen and Amo. Thank you. That was really sweet from both sides. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna do our first dance.
Next, we're going to uh, show a video of a dance we learned for our Indian wedding that has yet to happen. Can you tell a little bit about what Sangeet is? Um, so Sangeet, Sangeet is uh, usually, say, a night, the night before the actual wedding day. You know how sometimes Indian weddings can last uh, multiple days. And the whole family and close friends and we gather and uh, we dance and uh, lots of kids uh, put up a performance and it's a fun celebratory time uh, with dancing and music uh, for the wedding day so that's what this dance was supposed to be for and uh, this will happen when we do the Indian wedding but we wanted to show it here too because it's fun मैं डालू ताल पे भंगड़ा तू भी गिद्दा पाले चल रंग जमा दे हमके बने सभी मत वाले Solid musty chai. Hello, hello. Too much hair to me, the guy. Yellow, yellow. Control for over the body. Got to get the head to the tension for the hundred thirty two. Got to be head of the body for the little body for the little body. Yeah, what an amen. इतनी खुश है दीवानी तू मुझको ऐसी कहानी समझा दे समझा दे Okay, we're gonna go selfie mode for this. Here's the cake. Wait, let me show it from this angle. Here's our cake. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to put your hand on the arm, put it together, and we have to see each other. Okay, now, let's do it out with this. Nice and crumbling. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to feed you a little. just want to thank all of you for attending our wedding virtually and showing us so much love and support uh, to our relationship. We feel so cared uh, for and uh, from each of you. We were going to just end with the confetti and have that be it. But since we kind of arrived at this theme of dancing, 
through hard times, I thought it was only appropriate that we all share one dance together before we wrap things up. So I uh, happened upon this song that I'm choosing to play recently. And despite being pretty inactive lately for health reasons, when this song came on, I had to get off the couch and move. It's just such a good song. Um, I think I probably listened to it and danced to it at least four times on my own while Mog was cooking uh, before I had to take a break. So I'm gonna play that song for us and I wanna invite you to dance with us. If you're uncomfortable with that, you 